Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of our Variato Vision software. So let's dive right in. Starting off, this first screen is our executive level overview. There's over 60 charts to customize for things like productivity, security, or web activity. You can also click in any of the charts to jolt on further into the recorded information. All of this data can be filtered by device, user, groups, or date ranges. Now let's take a look at productivity. Productivity shows you how active or productive your employees were during the workday. Or in the case of work from home, this helps bring back some of the visibility that was lost when the employees left the office. This view can be filtered by device, users, or groups, as well as date and time. Here we can see their work schedule, logged in time, idle time, and active time, as well as an interactive chart to give you more of a visualization on this. Now let's take a look at how we configure both the workday and productivity settings. Workday settings are configured by group. This allows you to set the working days of the week, configure start and end times for those with fixed schedules or flexible schedules, as well as set the software to only record during working days and hours or 24 seven whenever the computer is in use. Now let's move on to the productivity settings. Here you can configure per group which websites or applications are classified as either unproductive neutral, productive, or ignored. Back on the productivity screen, here we can expand on the work week to view individual days. You can click on these charts to drill down further into the work day, or select the timeline view to get a chronological view of the work day. As well, if you use the Outlook app, the calendar tab will sync that data as well. For more context, you can click on the screen snapshots. This gives you a video playback of every screen the user saw throughout the day. Now, let's take a look at user details. User details gives you another view of the workday. This highlights the active and inactive time, as well as time spent in productive apps or unproductive apps. There are different tabs for each recorded data type, and you can customize the date range. There's also a searchable app list here at the bottom. Now let's jump over to the data explorer. Data Explorer. This provides a detailed view for everyone. Similar to user detail, there are tabs for each activity type. There are also interactive graphs to drill down into. And you have the ability to drill down by device, user, groups, and customize the date range. Now moving on to alerts. Alerts gives you overview charts by user, alert type, by device. You have the ability to filter, as well as search. Here you can keep track of unresolved and under investigation. Reporting. This is where you can create and schedule reports, toggle them on or off, see past reports that have been sent. Now let's walk through setting up a report. Here we're going to select the type of report we would like to add. The report type. Let's give it a name. the groups this might apply to, how frequently you would like to receive the report, the file type you would like to receive it in, 
And finally, who the recipients will be. Then at the end, we have a summary. We can click Create. 